Greetings one and all. I am going to smoke tonight a very fine cigar. This is probably one of the finest sticks I ever had. It is a Romeo e Juliet Modelos de Oro from the Habana Reserve. This is a very fine cigar, very good band. I recommend it highly. You can get them online and during this video I'm going to post um, some of the websites that you can go to. I recommend these websites. Um, I have gotten all my Garcia Vegas uh, through these websites and accessories through these websites. And um, the way things are going, I would have to recommend more websites. But uh, let me go ahead and light this beauty first. And uh, I've already pre-punched it. And away we go. Very good burn. Just barely touching the surface. Very nice. See that? And now. Let me tell you folks, before I draw my last breath, I would want this to be my last cigar. I know that I smoke Garcia Vegas as my regular cigars, but the first time I ever tasted a Romeo and Juliet, it was heaven. This is probably the finest cigar I've ever tasted. As you can see, I'm going to smoke, I only smoke the mild ones. I don't smoke anything too dark um, because dark ones are rich and, um, you know, they have a tendency to upset my stomach. And this is going to have a good ash. I can guarantee it without even telling you, without even watching it. I know it's going to have a good ash. As I enjoy this, I am, uh, this is actually part eight of Cigars 101. I am going to do two more. And what I want to do is after Cigar 101 point, uh, Part 10, I want to change the name. Um, a little bit more edgier. Um, turn it into something else. I, I, I kind of knew that I always wanted to, to only go 10 parts, 10 episodes of this series, and then turn it into something else. Kind of a more of a sire, fireside chat experience while I'm introducing new cigars to you and smoking and enjoying them and just bringing up more of current affairs and topical updates and stuff like that. Talk politics because I love doing that. Oh, by the way, this is for you, Paul. I really think that um, a good idea, if the taxes become too much for you, from what I understood, the S-chip started as a, a really fearful um, uh, uh, 10 extra dollars on the regular payment of a cigar. Um, 
and it I think it dropped down to two so it was revised twice the S chip so they really break did bring it down to fairly reasonable compared to the way it was so the whole panic thing I'm not going to do it just recommend enjoying what you're doing right now recommend cigars uh, and and smoke them and cigarettes if you do I don't smoke cigarettes I, I, I only smoke cigars um, my I'm a I'm a creature of habit so I'm sit I would sit at home and watch a horror movie and smoke a cigar while I'm watching a horror movie with all the lights out it just nothing beats that and I tell you I wish I had a, a glass of brandy right now because that's just the way it would go look how well that ash is burning you see that that is beautiful and you know that'll burn to about this point and maybe lower before it falls because I know you guys are smart you guys are really smart you love your cigars you're you all graduated from the the Swisher sweet crap and the uh, Philly blunts and I know what some of you do to those Philly blunts the flavored ones I know what you guys are doing out there I don't do it to these things I have a friend who does that well, now one thing I wanted to talk about was the space shuttle program um, because Helen Blaine got me going, got me really started about my my love for space, um, talking about the Jupiter effect. But let me tell you something. For the Obama administration to completely cut off the shuttle program by 2010 is leaving us without a space program by 2010. Because we do not have a ready on the pad replacement spacecraft. I think if the shuttle fleet is grounded after 2010 we'll be sitting on the ground for probably three four years before we get another spacecraft. Um, doesn't mean that ISS guys will have to come back down because Russia will still have theirs and they're making runs to the ISS all the time. So, oh, Guys, man, this is it. Romeo and Juliet. Any Romeo and Juliet. Very good. I can sit, I can smoke this and chat with you guys all night, but you know what? With all due respect, I want to actually sit and enjoy this without the camera. But I really want to do, um, introduce you to this really fine stick and um, uh, tell you about the name change and stuff like that. So I really appreciate all of you guys who watch and listen and have joined and subscribed to my videos. Thank you. Thank you all of you. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you all go. And um, y'all are great, and I will see you again really soon as I just enjoy the hell out of this thing. Um, human are full, ashes long, cutter extra, extra sharp. Bye-bye and take care.